According to Ray Dalio, in a constantly evolving world, it's imperative to comprehend the undercurrents shaping our economic landscape. Another significant factor in today's equation is the role of technology and digitization. The speed at which we're adopting new technologies is unprecedented. This rapid technological advancement is both a boon and a potential risk factor. Consider the proliferation of cryptocurrencies. Just a decade ago, they were a niche topic of conversation, relegated to tech forums and obscure internet chat rooms. Today, they stand as a testament to the power of disruptive technology. They challenge the very foundations of traditional banking systems and monetary policies. Their decentralized nature allows them to operate outside the bounds of conventional financial systems, offering both new opportunities and novel challenges. Furthermore, the rise of artificial intelligence and automation poses questions about the future of labor. While they usher in efficiency and enhance productivity, they simultaneously threaten jobs and raise questions about income distribution. The disruption they cause is akin to the Industrial Revolution, only at an accelerated pace. Therefore, as we stand on the precipice of significant economic change, it's more crucial than ever to remain informed, agile, and prepared. The world of tomorrow will be shaped by the choices we make today, and FinanceSense aims to guide you through it every step of the way. Let's take a journey back in time. The 1920s were vibrant, filled with flamboyance and economic prosperity. But, like night follows day, the 1930s introduced a contrasting reality. Financial paradigms have these pivot moments, and recognizing them is crucial for staying ahead. The question is, are we on the brink of another? For decades, we've watched the easing of monetary policies and embraced quantitative easing, but there comes a point when the past becomes an unreliable predictor of the future. This is where we may be now. Relying solely on historical data, the Fed seemed to misstep, anticipating a routine financial cycle. But we're living in a unique era. Technology, global interconnectivity, and other socio-economic factors are reshaping the financial landscape. While most eyes are on growth rates and inflation, there's a more pressing concern lurking in the shadows. We're heading towards the limit of what central banks can do to invigorate economies. The larger issue is the stark wealth disparity, a ticking time bomb. If the rich-poor divide is so evident in prosperous times, imagine its ramifications during a downturn. And as we tread deeper into this discussion, if you're finding value in this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Join the Finance Sense community and stay updated with every financial paradigm shift. Diversifying portfolios is more vital than ever. While gold remains a tried and tested hedge, putting all your eggs in one basket, even a golden one, is unwise. We're living in a time where assets have been heavily leveraged, where companies have bought back their equities on borrowed money. This precarious position makes certain portfolios vulnerable. Bonds, currencies, and the obligations tied to them are also at play. With towering debts and responsibilities like pensions or health care, we're inching closer to a scenario where money printing and larger deficits become the norm. And this is where currencies might see depreciation, pushing assets like gold into the spotlight. The world is changing. Over the next few years, there will likely be a shift, a downturn potentially more severe than what we've experienced before. This isn't just about recessions, it's about a systematic breakdown. Historical patterns suggest that while such downturns are impactful, human innovation and adaptability have always risen to the occasion. Understanding Economic Paradigm Shifts and Their Impact on Our Future 
The cycle of history has a rhythm, a pattern, if you will. For every boom, a bust. For every peak, a trough. Let's embark on a journey to understand the essence of these major economic paradigm shifts. Historically, we've witnessed transitions that no one saw coming. Take, for instance, the stark difference between the roaring 1920s and the tumultuous 1930s. This abrupt shift caught many off guard. Why? It's because more often than not, society has a tendency to expect the future to mirror the recent past. But history tells us it rarely does. What if I told you we're on the brink of another such monumental shift? For years, we've seen central banks across the globe ease monetary policies, with quantitative easing becoming almost a buzzword. Yet it's evident that this can't persist indefinitely. As we approach the limits of these policies, there's a palpable tension in the economic air. The risk over-relying on strategies from the past. Today's world has fundamentally evolved. We're in an era characterized by technological advancements, digitalization, and a vast excess capacity. The older economic models that correlated low unemployment with high inflation don't necessarily apply anymore. But herein lies the challenge. As our global economy matures, the toolkit of central banks appears increasingly limited. How will they jumpstart economies during downturns if their main tools are already exhausted? Moreover, the world today grapples with significant wealth disparities. The rich-poor divide is more pronounced than ever. If we're witnessing political and social unrest in these relatively good times, it's daunting to imagine the scenario when an economic downturn, which is inevitable, hits use especially when central banks might lack the means to counteract effectively. But it's not all doom and gloom. Diversification remains an investor's best freeing. While the allure of gold as a hedge against economic uncertainty is often highlighted, the real key lies in constructing a balanced portfolio. One shouldn't put all eggs in a single basket, irrespective of how golden it might seem. Leveraging assets is a strategy that has dominated markets recently, but it also poses inherent risks, underlining the need for diversification. On a macro scale, the globe witnesses significant shifts. China's meteoric rise poses challenges to the established might of the U.S. This scenario isn't just about economic might. It's about global influence, trade policies, and even technological advancements. As nations strive for self-sufficiency, we're observing a retraction from globalization, echoing vibes from the 1930s. Economic shifts, like the one in 2008, revolved around central banks' ability to print money and stimulate the economy. But as we approach the thresholds of these strategies, the next phase of our global economic narrative will undeniably be different. History is replete with instances of economic contractions, recessions, and even depressions. Yet, humanity's indomitable spirit, our capacity for innovation, has consistently overcome these challenges. Economic activity has continued to rise over the long term, underlining our innate ability to adapt and innovate. Conclusively, while the immediate future might seem fraught with challenges, our collective resilience, adaptability, and innovation will shape a new global order. The next chapter in our economic story awaits, and together we'll navigate through it. Thank you for joining us at Finance Sense. If you found value in this content, please hit that like button and subscribe for more insightful financial analyses.